BassEast.com. My weekly blog got an I have a name for it. Thanks to Robert Martinez from Turlock, California. He submitted the name Cliff Notes, and that's what uh, we decided to go with. But I want to thank everybody for, for your ideas and opinions. That's some cool stuff, but uh, Cliff Notes is what we're going to go with. Robert, we got some Bass East t-shirts and some Bio Boy. We're going to send to you in California down on the West Coast and to use some of that good stuff. This week, we the Humbling Warehouse slash factory slash main office. Here with Tony Landry, who's the owner of Humdinger. Just wanted to give you a chance to put a, a face with a name. Tony, what, uh, just give us a, a story about Humdinger. Humdinger's been around since the early 80s. Um, simple little spin and rate design. Basic spin and bait. Uh, catches a lot of fish. Old school rubber skirt. Got a lot of flash. Uh, excels. Dirty water. Just simple little spinner bait. Uh, easy on a pocketbook. It's been around 30 years. Um, we plan on keeping it going. It was a Louisiana secret, but... It was a Louisiana secret, but now it's getting to be uh, worldwide. So, hopefully with the help of Cliff, we can get it there. Yeah. If I can catch a couple more fish. The uh, Since we're talking about spinner baits and we had Humdinger, just a, a quick little easy deal. That'll help you catch a, a few more spinnerbait fish. When, you, when you're throwing that spinnerbait, you know, we all got a bad habit of throwing it up, throwing it and reeling it in, which works sometimes. But there's, there's two things that I, I do with a spinnerbait that a lot of times that help me catch more fish. First deal is speed kills. Throw that rascal out, and I'm, I'm burning it back, and I'm just hitting everything I can, stumps, trees, logs, grass. I just want contact as fast as I can get it. Another thing I do that's, that's real, real easy and it, it, it's so easy, it should be illegal almost. But as you're throwing that spinner bait out with a, a regular retrieve, you're throwing it, all you got to do is just hit that rod tip every now and then, every three or four cranks. Nothing extreme, just just hit it. And that'll cause them blades to kind of sit for a second, and, and then they'll pop and, and crack and make noise and that kind of stuff. And you got the old, the old school rubber skirt, and that's going to cause that skirt just to kind of jump for a second. And a lot of times that'll get you a bite, so... Thanks for being here with us behind the scenes at Humdinger. We'll be back next week with some cool